Welcome to Embedded World. In this video, we are going to see about UDS protocol that is list of functional groups in UDS protocol with respective services. All right. Before that, if you would like to join in our live webinar, which is going to happen on the Sunday, that is 21 pre 2021. That is three hours. It will start from 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. And yes, of course, in this three hours, you can be very much stuffed about UDS protocol we because we'll cover all, all the services without uh, any pending services or sub function with you know real time applications as well all right the enrollment fee is 660 rupees and uh, yes maximum is 20 enrollment all right and also recorded recorded sessions can be available in our website so that you can watch whenever you want all right if you have any doubts you can just uh what's up to this number and get information for the enrollments as well and this is what the agenda that we are going to see in this webinar all right functional group these are all the six functional group in uds protocol it will starts with diagnostic stress, diagnostic and communication management data transmission stored data transmission input and output control there is io control remote activation of routine upload and download so these are all the six functional group in uds protocol and of this uh, six functional group let me start one by one in this in in diagnostic and communication management what are the services and similarly for the remaining five functional group consists what are the services that we are going to see here see this is the first functional group that's a diagnostics and communication management so here we'll start with the diagnostic session control eco reset security access communication control authentication is newly added in this year i mean 2020 i'm sorry it's 2021 right so on 2020 it has been added that is on the uh, service id i have not mentioned so anyhow let me are going to see tomorrow or you can also google for the services service ids all right test job present access timing parameters secured data transmission control ddc settings response on event of course these information are available in the wikipedia also so second functional group is data transmission under this data transmission so these are all the services before that let me see here the diagnostics and communication management why these are all the 10 services is comes under the diagnostics and communication management is these are all the 10 services it will be ba very basic to support the other services also the that because say for example test person so test person can be used in the extended session to approach some other functionality like authentication has been newly added yes of course it, it is like a safeguard like just a present or authentication or secure data transmission even security access if you look on these these 10 services can be accommodated with any other services also so that's the reason it's a diagnostic and communications management all right the next one is data transmission so what are all the data you can retrieve or what are the data you can send that all will comes under the data transmission so these are all the seven services starts with read data by identifier then uh, write data by identifier read memory by address write memory by address read scaling data by identifier read data by identifier periodic then dynamic defined data identifier these are the seven services with respect to data transmission and next is store data transmission is one, fu one functional group io control then remote activation so under these two and each one all right in st under store data transmission clear diagnostic information and read dds information the reason is stored data transmission means these are all the data can be stored so it can be stored or it can be either clear so that's what that's the reason under these two uh, under the under the stored data transmission these two services has been accommodated then io control uh, io control is a direct service id I mean uh, service is a IO control by identifier then remote activation also direct service uh, routine control all right so this is in this in this one slide three functional group has been covered and the final one is upload and download so mainly on bootloader so request download request upload transfer data uh, request transfer exit request file transfer so these are all the five services comes under the upload and download functional group so these are all the six sub function and with you know related services also so it's very easy for you to understand if you read in this way you can just uh, you can remember all the services 
all right so this is bit bigger but you can yes you can it's very easy for you to remember and after this it will be very easy like read uh, write or comes under the data trans transmission then store data transmission these two is the very familiarly used uh, services then io control even tomorrow we'll have more all uh, discussion on read it is information also then io control then routine control and yes of course so these are all the six functional group under these we have uh, all these uh, services all right and uh, yes if you already register or enroll don't forget to um, join and uh, we'll uh, we'll share the link before half now and uh, yes try to learn and we'll get back to you in the next video until then bye take care